I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today I'm just going to talk about spoiling the child. And it's so funny because people have always said, you know, we shouldn't spoil our kids. And I've always kind of said, you can't spoil your child because I feel like what people mean is when they're little, they don't pick them up when they cry and they don't, you know, they're, they're really tough on them. And I think you can't love children too much. And maybe that's more what I meant when I said you can't spoil a child is that you can't love a child too much. But really, spoiling is a huge problem. And it was when Rudolf Dreikers wrote this book, The Challenge of Parenthood, back in the 50s. And it still is today a, a very key part of where parents really do fail in their parenting. And it's funny because what Dreikers says is the word spoiling is used at every turn that nobody know, ever is quite sure of its meaning. And... Beyond a doubt, it says the majority of our contemporaries were spoiled as children. Even those who most loudly protest against this accusation are longing for a little pampering and thus betray themselves. Only a spoiled child yearns for continued pampering. And I think this is what one of the longest term hindrances is when a child's pampered as when they're young then they grow up and expect their relationships to do that same thing. And that also often causes a lot of problems in their relationships when they're adults. Because while it's true that in relationship we do pamper each other, we can't be responsible for filling that need in another person. So it's important when we're raising our kids to teach them resilience, to teach them courage, to teach them capability and feeling like they can, they can handle things. I mean, that's part of growing up is learning how to overcome obstacles, overcome challenges. And this is really key. This is where I think directors did a great job of helping us to define what is spoiling. Look, Bumble knows you're exhausted by dating. All the must not take yourself too seriously and 6-1 since that matters. And what do I even say other than, hey, <sighs> well, that's why they're introducing an all new Bumble. With exciting features to make compatibility easier, starting the chat better, and dating safer. They've changed, so you don't have to. Download the new Bumble now. And he, you know, he says it's not easy to give an accurate definition because the term embraces a variety of actions and attitudes. The very word is expressive, expressive of a false method of adapting the child to life. So a false method of adapting child to life, the child to life. It's doing it's doing too much for them of helping them instead of letting them figure out how to run the world, their own personal world. Instead of, he says, instead of training him to meet the responsibilities of living, we spoil him for these duties, rendering him unfit to perform them. And so this, is, this to me is the best definition. It's when your child is struggling to learn something and we rob them of that opportunity by taking care of it for them. And to me, the, the um, intention of the parent is so good here because we're trying to love our child. We're trying to care for our child. But in doing so, we're robbing them of being able to learn how to overcome challenges. And that's, to me, the, the critical and key issue in spoiling children. And one of the things that I love about, uh, about following the positive parenting is it's not about letting them get away with everything. It's not about being permissive. It's about being this loving support while they're overcoming their challenges. So I'm going to talk about spoiling for a couple of days because this is such a key issue when we're raising our kids, especially when they're really young. So for today, just start observing, looking at, are there things that your child's struggling with today that you want to jump in and fix. Or maybe if you just sat and observed and made, made a few, you know, gentle, helpful comments when they really get frustrated, but letting them, letting them figure out how to overcome the obstacle, how to answer the problem, how to solve the dilemma that they're having. Have a great day. Happy parenting. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. 
I assume you're here because you're getting something out of these daily pep talks. And wouldn't it be great if more parents could hear more about these ideas for their children? And you could help me in a great way by liking the episodes, by sharing them on your social media, and especially by providing a review on your platform of choice. So if you could do me a huge favor and do that, it would really help get this out to many, many, many more parents. And we can all help our children feel more seen, heard, and understood, which is my life's work, is to make sure that all children feel loved and appreciated and that we can discipline them without breaking their spirit. So I hope that you've enjoyed these podcasts and will continue to enjoy them. And I really appreciate any support you can give me here at Positive Parenting Pep Talks. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy parenting. Hey!